Hello, my name is Peter Marin, and uh, I am here to talk about Day of the Dead. I am a teaching arti artist with the uh, Raleigh uh, People in Postcards project. And what I'd like to share with you today is something near and dear to my heart, which is Day of the Dead, a practice that I've been engaged with uh, since I was a child. And it is a practice that um, my family and I have been uh, doing every year um, since as far back as I can remember. A little context as to Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is a celebration in Mexico and that has now gone somewhat global where every November 1st and 2nd, an ofrenda is put up, not an altar, but an ofrenda, an offering, where we invite our dearly um, loved and departed to come join us in remembrance. And so what you do is you set up this ofrenda with uh, particular elements uh, to be able to make sure that, um, that the dead, essentially, can come and visit uh, without concern, without worry. Um, Mexican tradition uh, um, has it that uh, when you do set up your ofrenda, that the dead come visit and enjoy a few days with you as part of the Remembrance Act, as part of uh, the family act of, uh, of uh, being together. And in doing so, um, in remembering our dead, we don't forget them and we celebrate them and we rejoice about them and we keep them close to our family. Um, it's as if they are still with us in our family um, at all times. It is a joyous time. Uh, it's not a macabre evening. It's not a macabre uh, holiday. And, and I can remember clearly as a child, it was uh, one of my favorite times as well. It's a colorful holiday in that uh, you set up the ofrenda with marigolds, which are necessary. Uh, the orange, bright orange color attracts the dead, and so is the fragrance of the marigold. You must set up uh, the ofrenda with salt and with water, uh, water to quench the thirst and also a symbol of life, and salt to season the food that you've left behind for them, but also a symbol of earth. Fire must be present in the form of a candle, uh, and fire being uh, vital for life and the vitality of life. And the wind must be present. And what we do to acknowledge the presence of wind is we make this um, craft called papel picado, essentially cut paper. And you are probably familiar with uh, this type of craft if you've seen it um, in Mexican restaurants or uh, decorating Mexican buildings. But essentially, it is a way of acknowledging wind, which is necessary for the ofrenda. In addition, what we like to do is we like to put different elements on our ofrenda that remind us of our dearly um, past, such as maybe their favorite book, their favorite movie, their implements of their life. For example, if they were a painter, maybe paintbrushes. Um, their their favorite uh, chocolate or their favorite um, pair of shoes, for example. And um, what you do to celebrate is you gather with your family and you enjoy what's called pan de muerto. Pan de muerto is a very sweet and delicious bread that you eat uh, during this time and you share it with family and you have it with one of two drinks. One of them is chocolate, hot chocolate, and the other one is called café de olla, or, or large batch pot coffee. And essentially the coffee is made with molasses, cinnamon, star anise, and clove. And it's cooked over a long period of time, and it's drank uh, black without any cream added to it. It is quite delicious. Day of the Dead is a time of festivities, and it's a time of happiness. And you can see the, the festive uh, qualities emblematic in the ofrendas. The images that you see that I've offered for you uh, show me uh, recently installing and working with an ofrenda that I made at the North Carolina Museum of Art. 
as part of the exhibition for the Diego and Frida show, or the Frida show, I should say. And in it, I invited uh, museum goers to actually write a a memory or a a sentiment uh, on a little um, tag and add it to the ofrenda. Over the course of the three months, I collected 31,000 ofrendas. Um, and so the power of, uh, of uh, the ofrenda and what it is to celebrate the dead is definitely something that is about humanity and not necessarily about Mexican culture. And some of the other slides you see in ofrenda, which has sort of a blue-violet background, and this is an ofrenda that my dad and I set up in his house in 2014. We always change the location and the style of ofrenda that we make, but we often use the same materials and the same um, artifacts that we have. The following ofrendas are ones that I've actually made here in Raleigh. One of them was at the Mexican consulate in honor of Frida Kahlo, and another one was at Jose and Sons as a request by by one of the chefs there. I also share with you a, a couple images of a festival in Mexico City, but also of trucks moving large amounts of Sempasochil or the marigold. Sempasochil is the Aztec name for the uh, marigold, and it means the flower of the dead. Um, you also see an ofrenda, which is installed outside, and this was done at the museum as well for their Coco Fiesta Fantastica festival, where they screened the movie Coco, um, which has been uh, very popular, um, outdoors, and they had, um, they had food trucks, and they had uh, people of the community come down and, and drawing and games. Um, so we made a, an ofrenda to commemorate that. Um, after that, you're gonna see an ofrenda that I made at Art Space, uh, downtown Raleigh. And this ofrenda, I made it as a commemoration to my ancestors who were the ones who cultivated and domesticated corn, chocolate, chili, beans, and squash. You'll see uh, a few set of me, uh, pictures of me setting up the ofrenda at the museum. It was an enormous project, a community project, where over 70 volunteers helped me over the course of a year, and the installation itself took a week and over a hundred hours, culminating in the last day with a 24-hour day. So it was no no small task, uh, that was for sure. Uh, the design of the ofrenda at the museum is entirely mine, and everything that you see in the ofrenda, from the papel picado or the cut paper, to many of the artifacts uh, have been made by me or by volunteers that I worked with. Um, it is uh, an honor for me and a pleasure for me to share my Mexican traditions with you as Day of the Dead is becoming fast uh, assimilated into our culture here in the United States. I hope that you're able to find ways that you can also celebrate those who have passed and that are near and dear to your heart. Um, remember, every November, you can set up your own ofrenda. Make sure you have flowers, salt, water, candles, and the wind, and bring favorite articles or favorite books, favorite foods, and decorate your ofrenda and make it a lively time, a special time to remember those who have passed and those who you've loved.